Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. I can't wait. As you can see lined up behind me, we're going through Knob Creek tonight. From the lowly Knob Creek 9 to the mighty limited edition 15 and 12 cast strength. So I'm going to, you know, do these blind and then uh, we'll rank them and we'll give tasting notes and uh, you'll know what they are as I'm drinking them, but I won't until the end. So, as many of you know, I love myself some Knob Creek on this channel. I think. Uh, you know, originally when I was first getting into bourbon, I didn't actually. I thought it was a little on the oaky side for me. Um, had kind of a robust palate, but uh, the more I got into bourbon, I've, I've really come to enjoy Knob Creek quite a bit, really in all the varieties. So let's just take a look at the bottles before we get into it tonight. First up, the Knob Creek 9 100 proof. Uh, this is a little 375 bottle. You know, Great looking bottle, simple, not much fact other than age nine years and 100 proof. That's it. That's all there is to it. Um, on the bottle, they still have that horrible wax in case you're wondering, that just crumbles everywhere. Knob Creek, go to Makers and find out how to make uh, real wax. This is getting a little obnoxious. So anyway, the Knob Creek 9. So a full 750 of this is probably like 33, 35 bucks depending on where you are. Uh, it's usually a good value uh, for 100 proof bourbon. All right, next up tonight is a Knob Creek 9 single barrel reserve. And because I don't have the shelf version of that, uh, I went with a store pick here. So these in PA are $59.99, but they can be found for less elsewhere, about 10 doll hairs less. This particular one is a little bit older than nine years. And was from Creston's in Wilmington. So a little store pick from Creston's. As you can see, I took the wax off here because I was sick of it flaking into every drink that I poured myself. So I did the smart thing. Just got the old pocket knife out and removed it. Pro tip for those that like their Knob Creek. Again, not much else on this label. Um, if this was the shelf version, it would just say age nine years, you know, single barrel reserve, 120 proof. But all the store picks are also 120 proof. And although there used to be a lot of older ones, most of them nowadays are 9 to 10, maybe 11 years. But this one is a little bit older than 9. But for the sake of argument tonight, this is a 9-year, 120-proof Knob Creek. Here it is. Some regard this as the best readily available Knob Creek expression. Knob Creek 12-year, you guessed it, age 12 years. Coming in at 100-proof just like our Knob Creek 9. So three additional years of aging on this bad boy here. Um, in PA, these are $59.99, so 60 bucks. In other states, I've seen them as high as $70, $80. So your results may vary. Um, as you can see, we've enjoyed this one and there's really not much left. Uh, really nothing on here other than this fancy blue label and again, the 100 proof and 12 years. So will this win out tonight? We will see. Next up, Knob Creek 15 year. Now, also a limited edition, however, they have released this uh, last year and the year before. So 2020 was the first year they released this. They also released it in 2021. I will put a little card up uh, for my video. I just recently did a good tasting notes on the Knob Creek 15 for those that want a little more in depth. Uh, these were originally $99.99, came with a wood box. But in 2021, they upped the price to 120 here, at least in Pennsylvania, and you no longer got a box. So take that for what it is. And also, now we're starting to get a few tasting notes on the label. So it says here, aromas of heavy caramel and toasted oak with hints of sweet vanilla, coconut, and light leather. There you go. And it says the finish is warm with a touch of brown spice. So we get a little few tasting notes, same crappy wax that's on all the other ones. Knob Creek 15 year. Now, one of my personal top whiskeys of all time, Knob Creek 12 limited edition cast strength. That's right, cast strength 12 year Knob Creek. 
as you can see this is in the older bottle the smooth one not you know without all those bumps and textures on that one we get a fancy limited edition button right there we get the words 12 years limited releases up here then we get cast strength this one comes in at 124.3 proof i believe there was two batches of this uh one at like 120.4 or 5 and then this one the 124.3 as far as i know these were released only in 2020 they were sort of supposed to be only a Kentucky release, but I got this in Delaware. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. I, I don't know if that was true or not. Quite a few more fun facts, though, here. Crafted for superior taste and smoothness. Bottled a barrel proof for full flavor. There you go. And then we do have a fancy neck tag here. For 12 long years, we patiently waited. But... We get tasting notes most importantly, so let's take a look at those. Aromas of rich vanilla, caramel and oak, followed by hints of cherry, cocoa, full-bodied palate with oak and coconut complemented by a warm cinnamon nutmeg finish. So slightly different than the 15 year. Now, the rumor on the street when these were, were released in 2020 was that actually the majority of the whiskey in here was 15 year or older but they blended in some 12 year barrels uh, just to give it a uh, more rounded finish. So technically, if you knew what was in here, I mean, the rumors were true, this is older than 12 year by a good bit uh, of the mix that's in here. Uh, it's one of my favorite bourbons, so we'll just leave that for what it is. Uh, but we'll see how it does tonight and if I can pick it out. All right, there's all the bottles, quick run down there. Um, my wife lovingly poured these blind tonight, so and they're in all colored Glen Cairns. Easier for you to follow along, but also I get no hints of what the color might tell me on the whiskey in, in my guessing. Also tonight we have Deer Park water to help cleanse the palate. I'm not sponsored by Deer Park, but if they would like to, bourbonandbill at gmail.com. Contact me and I'll make sure to include a Deer Park label in all my videos. All right, let's get into it. First up tonight, the Gold Glen Cairn. Let's give her a swirl, and we'll fire up the nose. Oh, man. It smells like Knob Creek. If you like Knob Creek and know what it smells like, it smells like Knob Creek. But for those that might not, I get brown sugar, vanilla, caramel. Those are the three backbone flavors we're probably going to get in all of these with slight variations. I get cinnamon on this. I get a little bit of a little bit of leather, a little bit of oak. But man, does this smell good. Let's take a sip. Does not disappoint. Delicious caramel, oak, brown sugar, a little bit of vanilla. Delicious palate. I'm going to guess here and use my astute tasting palette that this is 120 proof, roughly. I believe this will be the store pick. Absolutely delicious. Well worth a buy at, at 50, 60 bucks, whatever you can find them for. And now the blue Glen Karen. <clears throat> oh, there's something special about this. This smells like a. 150 plus dollar bourbon right on the nose just it's so complex deep dark and rich i get a ton of oak like oh man like some cherries chocolate it's like oak cherries and chocolate a lot of chocolate notes on this let's take a sip holy smokes Wow, about twice as thick on the palate. An explosion of flavor. Um, it feels like we jumped from like a $60 whiskey to like a well over $100 whiskey on the palate, um, if you know what I mean. Let's take, let's take another, wow. Wow. There's like, the oak is heavy throughout. Finish just goes and goes on this one. Lots of 
the, the chocolate and cherries are there. There's a nice background of oak and a little bit of caramel coming in. Extremely thick, like motor oil on the palate. Probably one of the thickest bourbons I've ever had. It's very good. Uh, so far, that's my leader, the blue. By far, compared to the gold. Let's take a little, little Deer Park palate cleanser here. That's right, these are the sport caps. Always get those. All right, on to the red, which I think after that blue might be a letdown, we will say. Okay, this is the Knob Creek profile, but I'm getting like, like some corn notes on this, which unfortunately it smells a little youthful coming off a much older one here uh, in this order. Now, I will go back through these off camera in reverse order, so. But for now, it smells a little more youthful. We still get like the Knob Creek brown sugar, you know, caramel note. With some, you know, youthful corn added in. Let's take a sip. You know? It's good. It's not hurting anybody. Drinks like a $35 whiskey. My guess is that's the Knob Creek 9, just 100 proof. It's not hot. For being nine years old, I got that like youthful corn note, which I, I tend to get from less aged whiskeys. And, and nine years seems a long time to have that still, but I guess, I don't know, I guess compared to what else we had here, um, kind of came through uh, probably when they watered it down because it wasn't it. I think the first two were, uh, you know, 120 proofers and that one was not. So the red glass there is in last place so far. All right, the green Glen Karen. Oh, oh, what a treat. This also smells well aged. I'm getting a lot of, a lot of oak, leather, caramel coming through here. Mmm, get that confectioner sugar note as well. Brown sugar in the back, but it's not the predominant note here. Maybe some stone fruits in this? No, no, more of a red fruit, like a strawberry, but not as dark as the blue glass there. Let's take a sip. Very good. Mmm. Heavy on the oak. There's caramel in the back. Hint of red fruits there as well on the palate. Not high in proof. I'm going to take a limb here and say that's the Knob Creek 15 year. Um, I guess. Very delicious. You can tell it was well aged without being extremely high proof. Let's take our non-sponsored Deer Park water break. All right, last but not least, the Black Glen Karen. Mmm, uh, probably, I would say, one of the most balanced noses I'm getting like some peach apricot on this maybe. In addition to some caramel, it's not as dark as what we've had. The, the other ones previously have been kind of robust. Little, little little dark things, right? With just a heavy caramel and brown sugar. This is a little lighter on the nose. Still unmistakably Knob Creek, don't get me wrong. There's still oak there and some brown sugar and some caramel, but it's a little bit lighter and brings in some of those stone fruit notes like peaches, apricots, as well as some confectionery sugar. Let's take a sip. Wow. <laughs> that is good. Um, wow. Very complex in its flavor. Um, it dials back the oak a bit from the last one we had and brings like more sweetness. There's, there's even like a little rye spice in there. Very long finish. Um, probably the most well balanced actually that we've had just a very pleasant to drink very well balanced i can see if you tow the line where knob creek might be too oaky for you um this kind of adds a little bit different element that i just i don't think we've seen previously in here so i'm going to go back through these off camera and then we'll come back with my guesses rankings and results all right and we're back with my rankings guesses and results so in last place, easy last place, the red glass here. 
I think this is Knob Creek 900 proof. Uh, and the reason it got last, it just it was the only one with that youthful corn note, which it's okay, but I don't I don't love that note. And in fourth place, the Gold Glen Karen. Kind of a tough spot to be, but it had a lot of brown sugars, caramels, you know, oak to it. Um, good bit of heat. I, I thought it was very good, but it wasn't quite as deep, dark, and rich as the top three. So that, that's why it lost out. Oh, and I believe this is the Knob Creek 9 120 proof store pick. That's what I believe this one is. Now, the top three were hard. I will say, but, well, I shouldn't say that. The top three were harder, but an easy first place went to the blue. Again, we went through the tasting notes, just cherries, chocolate, oak. Like, drinking motor oil was so thick. Easy first place. No question about that. Second and third were very hard, though. Um, so, in second place was the green, and in third place was the black. Both of these were phenomenal. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to guess what this one was. I believe this is a Knob Creek 12 Cash Strength Limited Edition. That's first place. So, again, in second place, the green, and in third place, the black. These two were a boom, neck and neck for me. Um, and it depends on your palate. I like a little bit older bourbons with that heavier oak and, like, maybe some deep, dark, rich red fruits, which is why I picked this as second. That's what was in the green. This one, though, I will say was better balanced um, with a good, you know, there was some stone fruits in this one. So if you like oak, if you like stone fruits more than oak, this would actually be your number two, and this would be your number three. But for me, I like a little bit older, that, that oak presence in the bourbon, so I went with the green glass. I believe this is Knob Creek 15, and I believe this is Knob Creek 12. So let's find out if I uh, got it right. The old answer key here. In last place, the red glass, I guess, was Knob Creek 9. Wrong! <laughs> Holy smokes! This is why you do it blind. I said the youthful corn note. It was Knob Creek 12 year. Last place. I mean, I'm actually shocked. I would not think that was last place. Wow, I actually like it. I thought I loved Knob Creek 12. I'm shocked. Shocked. Didn't see that going quite that way. But um, my Knob Creek 12 has been open a while. Um, got a lot of air in it. Maybe that affected it poorly. I don't know. That, that's a surprising last place. Completely wrong. Um, in fourth place was gold. Gold was the Knob Creek 9 year. Well, I should save myself like half the money and just buy the Knob Creek 9 year. Go figure. All right, um, in third place, the black. I guess the black was 12, so clearly that is wrong. The black is my Knob Creek store pick here, which is a little bit over nine years. Very good bourbon. Great store pick from Crestons. If you are ever at Crestons in Delaware, stop in. They do have a, they do very well on their store picks. We featured several on this channel. All right, now, obviously that leaves second and first. In first place, the blue glass, my guess, was Knob Creek 12 Cask Limited Edition. Let's see if I was right. I was. The only one I think I was right on. Knob Creek 12 Cask Strength Limited Edition killed it tonight in easy first place. Easy first place. I guessed uh, second place was the green. I guessed Knob Creek 15, and it was, in fact, Knob Creek 15. So... Wow. Shocking result for the 12 year. I mean, I really did not expect it to come in last. Um, there's a ton of people that are like, Knob Creek 12 years, the best Knob Creek. I hear that all the time. Apparently it's not. So, sad to say, but for Knob Creek, well, I shouldn't say this. You get what you pay for, but obviously the Knob Creek 12 came in last for me. But, these are the most expensive Knob Creek bottles um, in their lineup, and well worth it in my opinion. The Knob Creek 15, like I said, is 120 bucks. I would probably like to see that less than 100, like 80, 90, but still very good. Came in second tonight. If you like oak, this is for you. Again, my video I, I linked it above earlier. If you want to see the Knob Creek 15 review in total, go watch it. 
But let's talk about, oh man, like a top tier bourbon. Tonight, this Knob Creek 12 Cash Strength Limited Edition drank, I would say this drinks in the $150 price range. Um, to me, this drank kind of like Knob Creek 15 year at Cash Strength. It's what I really wish Knob Creek 15 year would have would be. Um, was slightly that chocolate and cherry. Just we did not get that in the other bourbons, um, but we did get it in this one tonight. Unfortunately, this bottle is almost gone. Now I do have a backup, so don't feel too sad for me. But if you can find this, I found this in 2021, like a year after it was released. If you can find this, please buy it. So if you like what you saw tonight. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Have a great evening, everybody.